Do we have uh, anything else? Do we have a recipe? Recipe was the monster sandwich. Oh, that's today? That's today. Oh, the monster sandwich is something special. Mm -hmm. So the most difficult thing about the monster sandwich is finding a good quality bread. Mm. You talk about bread Indeed. for a minute, Drew. I'll let you talk first. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I mean, bread is... We're under the impression that bread is a low quality product. Mm -hmm. So it usually it has tons of ingredients, it's highly processed. Um, it's, it's just not what it is today, what it used to be when we had homemade, when grandma used to make it, or when you could go to bakeries on every corner mm -hmm. to get fresh, good quality types of uh, products, ingredients. And so we need to pay attention to what we're having. Now, we go to a farmer's market mm -hmm. and where we are now and they have this delicious Ooh. onion dill sourdough, sourdough bread and it's unbelievable mm -hmm. and I think that's the way bread used to be mm -hmm. and people still want to hold on to that like, yeah I can ha still have bread because it used to be a cleaner type of nutrient mm -hmm. or product and it's not anymore so mm -hmm. we have to find we have to read ingredients we have to look at name brands and we have to find good quality breads because that's the very base that's the core of our monsters and yeah exactly yeah this sourdough dill bread though insane and i think there's four or five ingredients yeah. that's it it's it's delicious and we know the lady that bakes it too <laughs> it's so wonderful but anyway back to the sandwich it's so simple so easy and what i like about it the most is that there is not there is a recipe but you can really make it your own so even in the family with if you have children or like each sandwich can be customized <laughs> to each child's likes or each person in your family's likes it doesn't have to be a uniform recipe which i like really much <laughs> really much really much <laughs> all right maybe you should get into now it. i'll get into the sandwich <laughs> so two slices of bread on one side you put hummus on the other side you put avocado slices and then you just load it up with veggies i like to put my veggies on the hummus side <laughs> so lettuce cucumber slices, tomato slices, peppers, uh, pickles. We, we suggest buying um, or making, if you have homemade pickles, it's the best. Because when you go to the grocery store and look at pickle ingredients, yeah. not very good. So try your best to find homemade pickles if you can, or really, really dig deep and look at those ingredients. Yeah, pickles are a tough one. Yeah. The same thing with hummus though. Like hummus is oh, yeah. hard to find, but it you, is. we recommend making, making your, own. your own. Sometimes yeah. we put olives on our sandwich. Drew's in this caper stage, so he's putting capers on everything. <laughs> I like capers. They're I don't mind them, but I don't I'm not in love with them like Drew. So there's an example. Drew puts the capers on the sandwich. Me, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> mustard is another one of my favorites. Mm. Like a nice Dijon mustard. Yeah, nice quality mustard, because again, mustard uh gotta look at the ingredients. Ingredients. Especially so. like yellow five, that's an MSG Ooh, you want to stay away stay from. Stay away from that. There's a certain brand you might want to stay away from. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Starts with an H, ends in an Eins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're something else. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's a monster sandwich. You put the two together, the two slices, smoosh them down because the veggies on ours is like this thick. So we smoosh it down and cut in half and jump in. I suppose it's a veggie monster sandwich. Yeah, veggie monster sandwich, yeah. Yep. So that's art, it's delicious. My mouth is watering. Me too. Talking about it.